get on the video. Well, we've made it to another Tune It Up Tuesday. And I gotta say, this guitar is just fun to play. This is the uh, Natural Honey color, SG Standard. Um, action and weight on this guitar. You can play this guitar all night long. Just like I said, just absolutely fun to play and uh, have a lot of great memories with this guitar. Let's get it back here on the amp and get a listen to it. That. We'll be playing through the Marshall today. Get everything set down to EQs centered up straight across the board. See how we sound here. <laughs> So we have the 490 in the neck pickup and the 490AT in the uh, bridge pickup. Mahogany body, mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, Gibson Standard Deluxe tuners. This, this guitar is entirely stock. There's nothing different about it. I didn't have to change anything. I absolutely love the way it sounded as soon as I started playing it. Uh, one thing to mention here. You can have five of these guitars sitting right next to you and play all five of them and you're going to choose one out of those five that is your favorite. Okay, uh, The shape of the neck, the sound of the, the guitar when it's you know starting to ring with the strings and things like that. So you'll, you'll find a favorite that you like and that's part of the fun of this is being able to uh, really select something that's going to inspire you. Okay. Uh, you know this is an iconic guitar. Angus, all the other guys, um, Leonard Skinner brought a lot of fame to this guitar. Uh, just numerous artists out there. Uh, you've heard this on a lot of different recordings. And the action of the guitar is great as well as, like I said, with the weight. If you had a Les Paul and played 10 or 15 songs in a row, you grab one of these and all of a sudden it feels like you've been... Uh, uh, in training or something because now you're set. Okay, let's get a listen to the neck pickup. I'm going to dial it down just a little bit first. Anything you want to play on this guitar, and I mean anything, you, you can cover jazz, blues, rock, country, any, any genre of music. doesn't go, hey, <laughs> what's going on? All right, got the throttle rolled up. And another thing to say about guitars like this is not only does it sound good on its 
own by itself, me sitting here playing as much as I want to play. But when you start adding different instruments here, uh, different musicians, so you get your drummer going, you get uh, guitar players going, bass going, again, these, these instruments find a way to stand out. Um, so you, they blend well together. Uh, you can, we can set a Stratocaster across through here. We can set Les Pauls through here. And these instruments are going to blend themselves specifically for you guys who is doing home recording and uh, uh, studio work and things like that. You already know what I'm talking about. That's the reason you want a various variety of guitars is because you're getting a different tone out of each one of them, but yet they always blend well together. Okay? So, nothing out of left field. Let's try it down in the middle pickup. Blend these two together. Again, another thing great about this guitar, uh, the volume uh, pods work really well. Turn it down and just absolutely dial the sound in. I haven't changed the tone on the amp, or uh, any settings on the amp. I can do it all right here at the guitar. guitar um, and you know and again um, when you get to choose your guitar take your time play several of them um, you're gonna find one of them that really really suits you best the way the neck feels the way the body feels you know um, the way it sounds you know, it's fun picking a guitar out pickups um, again we get up to the neck pickup back to the bridge pickup we're in the center uh, they, they are matched really well for this guitar uh, you have no problem dialing in a tone that you enjoy playing and again being able to blend across the mix along with other instruments uh, it's just everything you need to work with um, they started making these guitars in 1961 I believe it is and you know 50 plus years in the future there's not a whole lot that has changed uh, they often offer a variety of pickup selections and different things like this again this is a standard uh, so this 498 and the 490 anything you want to play okay <laughs> This is a 2004 uh, 
um, it's just a teenager. Gibson, all the other major manufacturers, uh, lots of forums will tell you, uh, about 20 years on the age of a guitar before everything's finally um, settled into where it's going to be. And then each year past that they just start sounding better. So again, um, always keep these things in the cases if you're not playing them. And everybody likes to hang them up and, and show them off. I mean, they are pretty to look at. But the older they get, the better they sound. Great story for you. We were down here one New Year's, and uh, it, it was already past midnight. Uh, <laughs> and I ended up doing the Chuck Berry duck spin down on the floor with this thing on. And like I said, I mean, I'd done played it all night long. And the fact that... Uh, you're, you're not under the strain of the weight, and I, I'm not complaining. I, I love the way my Les Pauls sound, okay? But this uh, does give you a little more freedom to do some silly things when you need to. But, uh, yeah, great story, and like I said, fond memories, and wouldn't trade them for anything. Let's go listen to this thing. <laughs> sounds fantastic um, now not a lot has changed o over the years with these guitars these things have been around for over 50 years now and <clears throat> again they can't reinvent the wheel if it sounds good they're not going to fix it they may change some subtle things uh, something in the wiring or maybe different pickup selection or things like that but there's a reason these guitars have made it for over 50 years and it's because people like them so if you get a chance, I strongly suggest you try it out. All kinds, all kinds of music played on one of these. And um, <clears throat> this is something that you were looking at. From my opinion, you're not going to go wrong. It, you, you're going to be buying, purchasing a, a quality instrument. And I really think you'll have a lot of fun playing it. <laughs> great guys I tell you what um, like I said they lots of fond memories playing and uh, I've always enjoyed this instrument so I hope some of this information is helpful for you and if you're looking for one of these uh, take your time make the choice that absolutely fits you and you're gonna be happy with it I want to thank you for watching I'll see you on the next one